Hey there, everybody. It's another great day for a workout here. And I'd love to start off with a little dynamic stretch flow. So whether you're starting your day, maybe you've just finished some cardio, you just want to stretch your body, but we're not going to be holding the stretches. We're really just going to be going through a nice flowing dynamic range of motion to help really work on mobility and stability throughout the entire body. So if you can try this without shoes, we're just taking a little side to side point with the toes, just a gentle bend bend of the knees. Good. And from here, just go ahead and plant your feet. Take a side to side gentle bend again. Nothing too major, especially if you're just waking up. And just start to take a moment to tap into your body, to take some nice deep breaths. Just check in and see how you're feeling today. If anything feels a little cranky or stiff, we're gonna wanna honor that as we go through the session. So just take some nice deep breaths. We're gonna start to take a little alternating overhead reach as we take that lean. Good. Again, just gently flowing from side to side. Let your breath be deep and free. Now let's just hold it over to one side. Stretch, lengthen, open, maybe bending a little deeper into that knee. Come up, other side. Stretching, opening, reaching, lengthening. I'm also thinking about grounding that opposite heel down to reach out and up. Good, one more time, big stretch. Open, expand the side. Last time, other direction. Open, expand, reach, lengthen. Just taking a little grand plie position. So just make sure that you have a nice little external rotation from your hips that matches the heels. So we're not putting any strain into the hips. Find something that's a comfortable stance for you. Just bend and extend again at your own degree here. Shoulders are open and back, chest and heart are lifted. Again, focusing on our breath. Beautiful. Take this one down, just hold it for a little stretch for those inner thighs. You could use your hands to just gently guide the knees apart. Come on up, good. Taking a little shoulder roll, let's bring the feet back in. Just a nice gentle shoulder shrug up and then roll down. Let's bring the feet about hip distance apart and just start with a little lift of the toes and maybe the balls of the heels. So I'm shifting my weight back to really lift and lower. A little balance challenge here. So if at any point during this routine you need some help with your balance, hold on to a chair or a wall to help stabilize you. Good. Keeping the knees loose, just take a little toe tap here. Working on the flexion of the ankle. Good, tapping into those shins. You got it. And at the same time, even though we're not doing anything with the upper body, let's make sure that the shoulders stay open. Hips are over. Hips and shoulders are in a nice stacked line. Good. And just steady your toes. Let's take a little calf raise, lifting the heels slightly off the floor. It doesn't have to be very big here. And if you'd like, at the same time, just think about pulling your shoulder blades back in together, opening across the chest making sure that we're not overarching through the back, but we're really pulling in between the shoulder blades, lifting and lowering. Good, just two more like that. You got it. Sitting back into your hips, bend the knees, slide the hands down, stand back up. So taking a nice hip hinge, nice neutral spine. Just gonna angle this so you can see it a little better. Hinge and stand. So a nice dynamic stretch down the backs of those legs, standing strong. If you wanna take this a little more deeply, you could add more of a squat and reach, but really make sure that spine is staying nice and neutral here. Good. Taking some movement through the shoulders and the arms, let's sweep it back. Inhale, reach and lift up. Exhale, sweep and hinge. Inhale, reach and open. A little bit bigger with the arms if you'd like. We could make that into a nice big circle at the top. Sitting back, reaching the arms, sweeping up 
circling back. Sit back into your hips. Sweep and circle. A couple more. Last time here. Good. Let's just begin to take the hands out in front of us, taking a little circle through the wrists. Good. And just staying grounded and connected to the floor, having that freedom of movement through the feet. And just notice if your balance has shifted to one foot or the other. Try to keep it really even between your right and left feet. Reverse the direction of your circle here. Good. That's it. Feel all 10 toes spreading and connecting to the floor through your mat. Flexing through the hands. We're just going to open out through the shoulders. Make a nice diagonal reaching line. Come back in. Go to the other side. Expand, open, keep flexing through those hands if you can. Come back in. Let's go just a little bit faster tempo. So we're going to inhale and exhale. Diagonal line through the heels of those hands. Just expanding across that chest, maybe adding a little bit of a bend and extend through the knees if that feels comfortable. Just making that movement as large as you can. Good. And from here, just pointing the tops of the hands down towards the floor. We're going to open out, reaching back to and round two. So expanding across that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades back in together. Let's get some mobility in that upper spine. Opening across the chest and rounding down. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you to have your hands in this position, you just could take them back to a neutral place. Just see what's really working for you. Getting some mobility in our spine. Stretching through the forearms. Open. Two and down one more time, inhaling. And just go ahead and bend your knees, taking the hands on top of the thighs here. Again, working more deeply into the spine, just rounding, pulling the belly in, contracting those abdominals, really vacuuming the stomach up into the spine, and then articulate that spine in an opposite direction. Just open and extend to your own degree. Exhaling, scooping, rounding, <sighs> inhaling, extend. Open, lengthen. Two more like that. Exhale, round and scoop. Inhale, extend. Last time, round and scoop. And extend and lengthen out. Nice, let's roll up to a standing position. Just thinking about stacking each vertebrae on top of each other, getting taller at the top. Beautiful. So we're going to work on a little rotation here. Let's just start simply by stepping one foot back, getting a nice solid stance. My front knee is bent. And I'm just going to turn my upper chest towards that front leg. Come back in to the center. Let's do that again this time. Perhaps we're going to add a reach with the arms. If you feel a little unstable in your balance, you might want to hold on to a chair or a wall with your opposite hand. Good. One more here. Just opening out. Come back in, let's switch legs. And just start with that upper torso twist. As you feel more comfortable, opening the arms out. This side's a little more wobbly for me. Just observing how your body's feeling, what's going on today. If one side feels more comfortable than the other to rotate into. Good, let's come back to the center. Now we're gonna switch, step back and rotate and reach. Come back to the center, just changing legs. So you don't have to go at my speed, you can go at your own pace here. Just gently stepping back and twisting into this. Breathing free. Let's do one more like this on each side. Come back to the center and just hold it. Now, you could choose to keep your foot back and stable or start to lower down into a lunge position. Now, you could hold it here or perhaps you're ready to come all the way down. We're gonna take that reach again. And this time, see if we can lean a little bit away from that back bent or lunging leg. Come back up, slowly return, change sides. So again, we could just stay here with that back foot. 
We could lunge down or we could go all the way to the floor. Rotate and reach. Up and back. Come back to the center. Slowly come back up. So just going to your own degree, a little bit faster, a little bit more smoothly into that rotation and reach. Again, just seeing what feels best for your body. There's no need to go all the way down into this till you're ready. One more on both sides. Good. Last time to your own degree. Come back up, back to the hands on top of the thighs. Extend the spine, round that back. Good. Now from here, let's go ahead and roll all the way up to standing, taking your feet a little bit wider distance apart. So turning out the toes, but making sure they're turning out from the hips, not just from the feet. So find a nice, comfortable, wide stance. Let you just sit back into your hips as low as you can go. Now you might need to modify this by sitting back into a chair. I'll show you that modification. But we're going to sit as low as we can, just finding a nice deep squat position. So you might, once you get down there, need to adjust your feet, kind of rocking back and forth. The goal is to kind of look like a frog. So just letting the hips sink into the floor. Heels may not be close to the ground, and that's okay. You're working with wherever you are today. Just see what's working for you, feeling comfortable for you. Once you're in that low squat position, lift up your chest and kind of press your elbows against your thighs. So you have the option, of course, to just stay here, or you could see if you can press this back hand down and elbow into the thigh as we rotate and reach through our opposite arm. So turning, you're just pushing away to help with that rotation through the upper spine again. Slowly come down, let's switch sides. Hand presses down, push into the leg, rotate and reach. Breathe. Move to your own degree here. Again, opening and pressing. Good, last time, let's take it center. Shift your weight forward towards your hands so that you can begin to lift your hips and just kind of comfortably turn your knees and toes more parallel, keeping the knees nice and bent here. Walking the hands a little closer, let the crown of your head just fall towards the floor. Take a couple nice deep breaths here. Just let the weight of your head pull you towards your mat. Feel gravity lengthening your spine here. Feel, feels comfortable to you. Maybe you just kind of want to sway the body from side to side. Lengthening, loosening everything up. Take your time. Let's go ahead and just lower down onto the floor. We're going to come to the hands and the knees. So just find a comfortable position for you here. And we're gonna just start by shifting the weight back, hips towards the heels, and then shift the weight forward. So I'm gonna walk my hands a little bit further forward so I have some room to just begin shifting back and forth. If you find that you need more padding for your knees, you could put a towel or fold your bat underneath them here. So you might wanna just stay with a smaller range of motion. If it feels comfortable to you, perhaps you wanna start to expand into a larger extension through the spine as you shift forward, allowing the hips to just sort of sink to the ground. Expand and open the chest, contract it back. So I'm thinking of rounding back, extending forward. One more time. Good, just return to that all fours neutral position. Let's go ahead and lunge one foot forward. And I want to purposely allow my knee to travel past my toes. So working on some flexion at that ankle again, ankle mobility is so important for everything that we do. Just allow the hips to sink forward. Perhaps you need to stay up on your hand. If you have the flexibility and you'd like a little bit more intensity, you could come to your elbow. Just see what's working for you. If you need a chair, your hands are on the seat of your chair for assistance. And we're gonna take that rotation again through that upper spine, just opening 
twisting into that bent knee. Take a couple deep breaths. Circle that arm back and around. Shift your weight back. Let's switch out our legs. Shifting forward, lunging, sinking into it. Stretching that arm up when you're ready. Deep breaths. Circle it back. Good. Shifting back to that first side one more time. This time, take your foot a little bit wider than your hands so you have some room to really sink and release. So we're trying to really open up through the hips, especially in the hip flexors here. And let's see if we could perhaps lower down to our elbows. Just take a couple deep breaths here. And you might want to just kind of shift around in this position. You feel some tightness in the hamstring here. Again, you don't have to go to your elbows. Just see what's feeling good. Walking back up to the hands. Let's gently and carefully switch it out. Stepping wider with that outside foot. Lunging forward. Staying up on the hands or coming down to those elbows. Shifting around. Sinking and releasing. Very nice. Let's walk it up and bringing the knees in. Let's just take a moment to transition so that you're sitting with your legs at about 290 degree angle. So it's not gonna be exact, just kind of get as close to that positioning as you can. We're gonna shift the pelvis forward as we inhale, tilt the pelvis over that front leg, feeling that stretch in the outside of that front hip, and then exhale, round it back. Inhaling, exhale, round. So just a gentle shift back and forth with that pelvis. One more time. Good, now from here we're gonna stretch, reaching away from this front knee, stretching back, your hand can stay on your mat, just lengthen away if you want more, trying to come down to the elbows, lengthen, driving back through that back hip and out through that reaching arm. Slowly come up. Before we go to the other side, take that back leg, trying to cross it over. You can release that bottom foot in a little closer to your body. Sitting up tall here, hugging the knee, or just twisting through that upper torso. Release, let's go to the other side. So changing out those legs again. Taking a little moment to set it up. 90-90, shift forward, rocking back. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time. And again, to your own degree, come back to neutral with your spine or reaching back, perhaps to the elbow or not. Come back up slowly and carefully. Crossing the legs, bringing that bottom heel a little closer if that feels good. Sitting tall, twisting with or without that hand's assistance. Come back to the center, good. Let's just take a minute to stretch one leg out. We're gonna tuck the other heel in as close to the body as we can, sitting up nice and tall. Flex that foot or just keep it neutral. Outside knee can be soft. So we're gonna stretch out and over. Come back up, go the other way. So driving down through both sit bones, making sure we're staying connected to our mat. One more time to both directions. Again, we're just keeping this movement dynamic, opening up through the sides. Good, just finding a comfortable straddle position. Nothing too major, just kind of shake out your legs here. Shifting forward and back. Again, we're moving the pelvis here, moving through that low back, extending and rounding. Bending our other heel in. Other side, that was the same side, we gotta switch legs. So we switch out and over. Going away from that leg. Other side, stretch. 
just make sure both of your hip bones are staying connected to the floor. Really nice, good. So let's go ahead and take a minute just to transition so we're lying face down on our mat. You can just let your legs extend long behind your body. Taking some nice extensions to wake up all those muscles that line our spine. Toes staying connected to the floor, pull your shoulder blades back and together. Hands can stay down, just taking a nice little extension and lift. So we're getting a nice contraction of those muscles. Lengthening, opening. Finding the own, your own degree of this movement that works for your back. Two more. Good, last time. Taking half of a bow pose, bending one foot in, reach back with your same hand, just see if you can kind of lock around the inside of your ankle here. And you can keep this opposite arm extended on the floor or lift it up. So we're gonna try to just raise the chest, lift that thigh, maybe just a couple centimeters even off of your mat. See how high you can go with it. Pulling the heel in, lifting. Perhaps you wanna extend up a little bit higher with that upper body, just see what feels good. Release it down. Let's do that again three more times. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, lower. Two more, I'm also thinking about pressing out into my hand as I lift with the top of my ankle. Last time. Keep your neck neutral and long. Release it, let's set that up on the other side. So switching out the arm, switching out the ankle, grab the inside edge of your ankle. And just find the degree of the movement on this side. Notice how it feels. Release it down. Coming in and out of it three more times. Exhale, lengthen. Inhale, lower. Two more. Last one. Nice. And releasing it down. Tucking your toes under. Sit your hips back, just stretching through the soles of the feet here. So don't worry so much about what your upper body's doing. We just wanna shift our weight back into our feet, stretching. You can relax your forehead down to your mat if that feels good. Gotta remember our feet too. And release, tucking the toes under, sitting the hips back. Perhaps you wanna just stay here. If it feels okay to your knees, to sit your hips back towards your heels. Coming up a little higher. Just a few more for the wrists and that upper back. One more time, coming back up. Turning the palms in if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, you could just stay here. Take a little bend in your elbows and stretch. Little bend and stretch. One more time. Good, if you do have your fingers turned in towards your body, just take them back around. Inhaling, opening, stretching, expanding away from the mat. Come back in, let's go to the other side. Exhaling, reaching. One more time in both directions. So hopefully your body is feeling a little bit more open a little bit more ready to take on all the movement that you're gonna do for the rest of your day today. Or perhaps if you're headed towards a restful evening, you'll feel a little bit more lengthened and relaxed before you go to sleep tonight. Thank you so much for joining me for this dynamic flow stretch. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to moving with you again soon. Take care, everybody.